Hey everyone, welcome back to another new exciting video. Finally, Minimax has announced their new version of M2 model and it is now Minimax M2.1 and here you see that this is the official announcement. Minimax M2.1 brought major upgrade to design and visual quality and this is one of the examples that they have given and I personally tried this model inside the LM code arena. On the left hand side I have this Minimax M2.1 preview model and on the right hand side I have this Gemini 3 Pro and I tested these two models based on the same prompt building a travel booking website UI and uh, the UI that I got from these two models is totally different and I am pretty much confident that this Minimax M2.1 has a lot of capability than the Gemini 3 Pro. How? Here you see that uh, I, I gave this prompt building a travel booking website UI that allows user to search flight, hotel, car, rentals and etc etc. Now if you see the output from the Minimax M2.1 preview, uh, you see that this is exactly a production ready website and the UI also looking very good. Now if I eat, open it in a large tab, here you see that uh, this is the UI okay and now if I hit on the search flight button here you see that a beautiful loader is also running okay and also there is a beautiful pagination and the interesting thing is that if I click on this book now button here you see that a pop-up is coming for the booking okay a complete working website on the left hand side I have this filter option also and this filter option is also very beautiful and all of the necessary um, settings that are required are necessary options that are required for this filter that is present here. Now on the right hand side I have this Gemini 3 Pro. Now if I open it on the large screen here you see that this is the output from the Gemini 3 Pro. Now what I have found that in case this uh, Gemini 3 Pro the output is looking overall not that much uh, bad but if you compare it with the Minimax M2, here you see that there is a beautiful gradient present, but here there is nothing. So when uh, Gemini 3 got released at that time, we uh, most of you and me also uh, told you that uh, Gemini 3 is very much good at UI. But after watching the output from this Minimax M2 one, uh, I can surely say that Minimax M2 one is definitely beating uh, Gemini 3 Pro on the UI designing part and also uh, in functionality part also. There are some community feedback. I have been using Minimax M2.1 heavily over the past days while building CC switch frontend plus core logic and it uh, it has been a great addition to my toolbox. Highlight from the practical usage, strong coding assistance for UI work plus refactor, good instruction following for scope task, very affordable, great cost for performance. Now if you see that uh, in case of Minimax M2, previously the cost was $0.2 for the 1 million input token and for output token it was uh, $1 for the 1 million. Okay, so, so the pricing is very less but the output quality is very better than all of this uh, closed source and um, all of this open source model. Okay. So you should definitely use this Minimax M2 model and uh, Minimax M2 was good. Now Minimax M2.1 is definitely better than the previous M2 that we have also seen from this output. And uh, here you see that this is another output that they have shared. They have tried uh, this Minimax uh, M2.1 model and this uh, factory AI, factory AI CLI. And here you see that this is the output. Let me play this website demo, then you will understand. Here you see. This is a beautiful uh, website, right? Here you see a proper hover effect and also the boxes, the style. This is a beautiful production ready and uh, professional website. So here they have used the power of factory AI, factory CLI and also the Minimax M2.1. Here also you see that uh, Minimax M2.1 is the best in design area. Now you will tell me that how to access it. So they have not released this model officially. They will surely release this in the upcoming two to three days. But they have opened one early access uh, application. Here you see, I have given this early access application link in description. You should open this form and after that they will ask some of the question your email and why you should uh, want, why you are, why you want the early access, what we will do with this model. And after that you can uh, submit that um, form. And now if you want to try it, just go to this lmarena.ai and here select this code and here select this model Minimax M2.1. Here you see Minimax M2.1 preview. Okay. Now give the prompt and uh, you can uh, use this model.
okay so this was the information that i wanted to share with you guys i hope that uh, you found this video helpful this, this, this detailed explanation and you should um, actually compare this model with the gemini 3 pro clot model and there are gpt models okay so please let me know your thought your experience in the comment section see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye bye take care